Welcome back to fourth grade. This has been a hard math week, hasn't it? We have had one challenging new idea after another, and I want you to rest assured this is a short video, and today's math, math lesson is not super difficult. Whew. Breathe a sigh of relief. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the day. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to end our week on a math lesson that doesn't make us want to have silent freakouts, that helps us to remember that, yes, we are capable of doing hard things, but it sure is nice to do some easier things as well. We thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you for the great week that we have had. We love you, Lord. Amen. All right, friends, page um, 509 in your book, lesson 110. We're talking today about dividing by multiples of 10. So that might sound a little bit overwhelming and a little bit worthy of a silent freak out. You might look at the problem and think, wait a minute, you just said this was going to be easy. I do not know how to do this, but you do. This is going to be way easier than you probably are thinking it will be. So when we multiply by multiples of, of 10, we often remove the zero, multiply, and then put the zero back on, right? Well, we can do the same thing when we are dividing, and it will make these numbers a little bit easier to manipulate. So I've written a, a division problem up here on the board, 72, divided by 20. Now there's two different ways to go about starting this problem. First of all, we do need to remember our process remains the same. Divide, multiply, then subtract, bring it on down and bring it on back. Say that with me. Divide, multiply, then subtract, bring it on down and bring it on back. The same process is going to apply. But what might be stumping you when you look at this is, well, wait a minute, I don't know how many 20s there are in any given number. That's a big number, I, I don't know. Well, there's two different ways that you can handle this. You can think to yourself, how many 20s do you think there might be? Let's round this number down. How many 20s might there be in 70? And you could count by 20s, 20, 40, 60, 80, or, you could use this strategy. You could look at how many 20s are in 72 and think, well, how many twos are there in seven? How many twos are there in seven? Two, four, six, there are three. If there are three twos in seven, does it then make sense that there would be three 20s in 70? Yes, we can make that assumption. If there are three twos and seven, then there are most likely about three twenties in 72. This gives us a place to start. Now, let me caution you here. Because we have written this as a simpler math problem, because in math, aren't we always trying to make this as simple as possible? We've made this complex math problem into one that is a bit more simple. You may look at this and think, oh, three, so there must be three 20s and 72. Some of you are looking at this thinking, looks good to me. And others of you are looking at it thinking, oh, 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 pick me, pick me, you did something wrong. You're right, I did. What did I do wrong? I wrote the three in the wrong place. We're not talking about how many twos are in seven anymore. We are now looking at our more complex math problem. How many twenties are in 72? So the three should not be over the seven. There are not 20, I'm sorry, three twenties in the number seven. No, there are three twenties in the number 72. So the three needs to be here over the two, because this is the number that we are dividing into. All right, so we have divided. What is our next step? Multiply. Remember when you multiply, we always multiply first times the number in the ones place. Three times zero. What is three times zero? It is 
zero. Next, we multiply times the number in the tens place. Three times two. Three times two equals six. We have now multiplied. What's our next step? We've divided, we multiplied, now let's subtract. 72 minus 60. Look first in the ones place. Two minus zero equals two. Now let's look in the tens place. Seven minus six equals one. We have now subtracted. Our next step is to bring down, but there's nothing to bring down. That means we are finished and we have a remainder. Our remainder is 12. 72 divided by 20 equals three with a remainder of 12. Let's try another one. If you're following along in your book, we're on page 510. We're going to divide the number 127, and we're going to divide by 30. A little bit of anxiety here, maybe. I don't know how many 30s there are in 127. Well, let's try to make it a little bit more simple. This is a complex math problem. Let's make an easy math problem. Instead of looking at 30, Let's take off that zero. Let's just make it a three. And instead of dividing into that whole number of 127, that is a very hard number, let's just look at the 12. Now I'm not gonna just look at the one because one is smaller than three and there are no threes in one. Let's just look at 12. How many threes are there in 12? There are four. If there are four threes and 12, does it make sense that there are four thirties in 127? Yes. So we're going to say there are four. I just made a mistake. I wrote my four in the wrong place. There are four thirties in 127. I just made the same mistake that I cautioned you from making. Funny how that happens. Now let's multiply. Four times zero equals zero. Four times three equals 12. Subtract seven minus zero equals seven. Two minus two equals zero. One minus one equals zero. There's nothing to bring down, therefore we know that we have a remainder of seven. All right, boys and girls, this is all that we are adding to our lesson today. Just one new process. Practice a few problems. Let's practice one more problem, and then I'm gonna send you to your written practice time. Let's try hmm, 217 divided by 30. 217 divided by 30. Well, let's take this complex problem and do an easier problem to help us know where to get started. Instead of the 30, let's just look at the three. Instead of 217, let's just worry about the 21. How many sevens are there in 21? I'm sorry, how many threes? I just gave you the answer, didn't I? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. There are seven, I gave you the answer. There are seven threes in 21. If there are seven threes in 21, then there are probably seven 30s and 217. So we're going to start with a 7. I got it in the right place this time. Make sure that you do too. 3 times 0 equals 0. 3 times 7 times 3 equals 
21. I'm just saying all kinds of things wrong today. Subtract, seven minus zero is seven. Zero, zero, nothing to bring down, remainder of seven. All right, my friends, I'm gonna challenge you to make fewer mistakes in your math work today than I just made doing writing them on the board. Sometimes we just have days that, are, that go that way. Guys, I love you. I know you can do this. Finish your week strong. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you next week. Hope to see you soon.